Hi, everybody. Oh, my God. Listen. I work. Hey, everybody. Danny Moon here. <laughs> I do this every video, y'all. You got to go back and look at my videos. I just jump right in with conversation. And I never introduce myself to my new subscribers, my old subscribers, to everybody out there. I am Danny Moon, Karen, a.k.a. Pole Girl, whatever you want to call me. Anyway, um, I've been saying every day that I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do a daily pull. And I did do one a couple of days ago, but, I, you know, I got to stay consistent on this thing if I want my subscribers to go up. Um, shout out to all my new subscribers that I just got yesterday and the day before and the day before that at my job. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. All gratitude goes out for y'all because y'all don't even know me. I just was pulling y'all to the side. Can you, can you subscribe? And y'all always doing it. So... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but I've been saying every day I'm going to do one when I get home, when I get home. But work doesn't stop for me. When I get home, I got to take care of my kid. I got to be in bed by 9, 10 o'clock latest to um, get up at 4.30 in the morning. So I am so sorry. I'm going to try to be more consistent, y'all. It's so My schedule is crazy. And you know on the weekends, I teach the pole dancing. So it's like I work seven days a week, six days, because Sundays I don't work. But it's literally like, I. but then on Sundays, I'm dead, like dead to the world. So um, I'm literally going to start trying to get better. If you want more info about the pole dancing, I am in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, classes, it's, it's a studio-based classes, so don't think it's nothing crazy. It's definitely the new gym for women, so... Um, email me at karen dance at gmail gmail com. Karen, the number four, and the word dance, D-A-N-C-E, at gmail. Anyway, I'm not really here to, like, do a whole spread or whatever. Um, I am here to take whatever card Spirit will put out. I got one um, candle lit. I'm, about, I'm lighting my other one. I am in the dark in my room because <laughs> I'm trying to go to bed. Um... I just wanted y'all to see, and I really does, don't supposed to take this from underneath the candle, but I did my manifestations, my intentions. I wrote them all down. I lit the candle. I put it under the candle, and I'm going to let the candle, and it's a, it's a full candle like this. I'm going to let it burn down. Um, I should have did it on Monday for the full moon once again working 12 hours, boom, no time for nothing. So, you know, I did it um, yesterday morning and I'm just going to let it sit until it burn out and I'm going to take action. I always talk to y'all about taking action. Um, and you know, I was pulling my, thank you, Spirit. I was pulling my cards today and my cards was even saying that I wasn't pulling my cards. Um, I was looking looking and listening to my tarots on YouTube. Sometimes I got to slow down to really get it out. Um, and it was saying how I'm not taking any action. I want... It was the, the tarots and the cards, and these are all different readers saying the same thing, that the universe has a blessing for me. It's right in front of my face, but they're saying I'm not taking enough action. So I was just telling y'all that. And I normally say that, you know, you got to take action. God, the universe, spirit won't give you nothing if you don't take action. But, you know, sometimes you get caught up in this 3D life. We're working, taking care of everything. And you just, you know, you just don't take enough action. So I know that definitely um, put a spark in my plug, you know, and I know that... um that I'm good. I need to do something. So, you know, I got a couple of things lined up in my head, but instead of them it being in my head, I need to take action. So I advise you to do the same thing. Don't get comfortable at your job. Don't get comfortable with no one, nowhere. You know what I'm saying? There's always better on the horizon for if you want it. There's always better. Um, so um, Spirit, can you please bring in some good energy, the moon energy, and I, I pulled my 
blinds all the way up so that I could sit here and look at the moon. Um, because this is like the last day, you know, before full moon, you have the, the, the energy three days before and three days after. So tomorrow is Wednesday and the full moon was Monday. So I think I have Wednesday and Thursday, hopefully maybe just Wednesday, maybe I'm pushing it, but I'm trying to get as much energy as possible from this moon. So, um, and I'm, I want the energy to come to you too. So spirit, can you please, um, Give the audience, my collective, their daily read, their energy card for December 2nd. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. December 2nd to December 8th. It, it would have been the 1st through the 7th. So we are going to do the 2nd to the 8th. Um, There is somebody on YouTube that I really want you to watch. She goes, her name is Jessica Alexandria. And her YouTube thing is Behati Life. Behati Life. <laughs> Just go on it. I know I say it weird, but that's really how it is. Behati Life. I get my oils from her. All my oils, all my stuff from her. You know, like her stuff is super, super great. If you go on there, she'll teach you how to write intentions. She'll talk to you about astrology. Big up to Jessica Alexandria. Um, so, um, we got this broken heart. I don't think we got this in the last. I think I was doing a private reading and they got this. But if there's people out there with a broken heart, we don't really got time for that right now. And I know that's easier said than done. If you have a broken heart for anything, a, a relationship, family, it, say if you don't have peace of mind within yourself and, and you feel that within your heart, you know what I'm saying? Take it up with the Lord. <laughs> that's always my advice take it up with the lord the most high your god take it up take it up trust me lay it at the lord's feet and he will provide for you okay um another thing that was going through my head today was triggers and i just talked to my sister a little bit about um triggers and you know some people are triggered by certain words Sorry, I was this is a good card. Door to door to personal healing and happiness. And it came up upright. So there is a door. And that goes along with the and I'll get back to I know I'm jumping around, y'all. Just rock with the queen, okay? Um, this goes with the broken heart. Cause if you have a broken heart, spirit is trying to tell you there is a door to personal healing okay personal healing and happiness there is an outlet there is something there's a door there's a way out of this broken heart and remember it doesn't have to be a relationship it could be anything you know what i'm saying um i think i tell told all of y'all before i lost my mother about six years ago and my heart is always going to be broken a little bit from that you know what i'm saying and i am starting to heal it's been six years but i'm just taking on this heartache energy recently and um spirit is universe god is starting to heal heal me one because of y'all in this channel and this platform thank god for y'all someone's listening um but also in other ways too but if he could do it for me he could do it for you trust and believe broken heart and then your next card was you want to read it door to personal healing and happiness okay and then you got the four swords that means rest you see all the stuff i'm telling you that i'm doing on a daily basis spirit is telling me to rest but spirit is telling you guys you got to take some rest because if you don't get no rest you won't have no mental clarity you need mental clarity you know what i'm saying um if you don't have no mental clarity that goes on to what i was talking about about triggers it'll be easy for you to be um 
not just triggered, but some people don't know what that means. That means like, like any, any little thing will bother you. If someone says, Ooh, you got ugly eyebrows. <laughs> Cause I get that all the time. Um, or I don't like your eyebrows today, Karen. That could be a trigger and you just go off on people. I'm just giving you an example, y'all. Anything could be your trigger. You know, if someone says something, here's, here's something. If someone says something about my mother, that's a trigger for me. And my whole spiritual thing goes out the window. I'm back to the block. I don't want to be, I'm off the block. <laughs> I'm not that person anymore, you know, and I don't want to ever show that to people. So in order to, in order to calm your triggers down, there are many, many, many ways. I'm not a medical professional, but there's many, many ways you can calm your triggers down or get rid of your triggers. One is going to speak to somebody, a therapist, somebody, talk to your doctor. Um, even though I'm not with medication, your doctor can prescribe you medication. I'm not a medical professional. I'm just saying like, these are some of the things that I know of. I know of other people that do. Um... Another thing that you can do is get some rest. And when I say rest, y'all, I'm not talking about going to sleep. I'm talking about mental clarity. Sometimes you just need to sit down or lay down and get in your mind. You know, um, prioritize in your mind. You know, make a list in your mind of what you're going to do tomorrow, what you're going to do the next day, or what project you're going to work on, or what action you're going to take. You know what I mean? So, for a sword, y'all, spirit saying something. Um, the next card we got is Six of Cups, which is nostalgia. Like, thinking about back in the day, thinking about the block, you know, thinking about where I grew up, thinking about my old childhood friends. Um, but it also has to do with... Um, like if you have children now um, and you could be going through something with your child um, or feeling some type of way about your child, whether it's good or bad. This is not a bad card. This is actually a good card. But, you know, this card could um, pertain to to you having children and going through something with your children or you thinking about how you grew up or wanting to go back in the day. The only advice that I have for that is... Leave the past in the past. It is such a good feeling, y'all, when you are at a, at a certain age and you can look back. Um, you could always say, if I could go back, I would, blah, blah, blah. But if you could look back, that means there's some growth there. That means you have grown. You know, you, that's also like ascending. You know, the ascension I'm trying to get is spiritual, but some people have to take baby steps and just grow a little bit. Um, experience the world and experience life. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it's okay to think about, to, to think about, you know, back in the day and to have nostalgia and think about whatever, but I want everyone, I want this community, all my sub subscribers to start thinking about the now. Think about this moment and think about the future and how you can change it and what you can do for yourself to make you a better person. Because if you're a better person, you'll be better to me. If you're a better person, you'll be better to Susie. If you're a better person, you'll be better to the next man. You know what I'm saying? And it's about keeping our community making us better with each other and then we can spread the love elsewhere right am i right y'all gotta say i'm right or that that sounded right you know what i'm saying um so um back to these triggers y'all um <clears throat> we're all human so having having triggers is it, it, not everyone has them but a lot of people have triggers um all i can say is to to that is Self-talk. You know, I sit in here all the time and I talk to myself. Don't think I'm crazy because you know y'all talk to yourself sometimes as long as I'm not answering myself back, right? Spirit is answering me. <laughs> I don't know if that makes it any better, but spirit is answering me. Um, here we go. Indecision indecision so and trust me y'all the topic today 
is gonna is gonna be called triggers okay so I'm gonna keep going back but when spirit takes out a card that means spirit wants me to say something and if you are indecisive like I'm a Libra I'm a air signs I'm indecisive about everything y'all everything sorry I got a um a thingy um I'm indecisive about any everything but that's not good because if you keep being indecisive about what I want to do, what I want to wear, what I want to go, what I want to be when I grow up. Where you going to sit? Right in the same place. That's another message that I had for one of the signs. Um, I'm always talking about stagnation. I'm always talking about stagnation. We don't want to be stagnant, okay? Um... Sorry, y'all. Give me a second. All right. Um, we don't want to be stagnant. So, there are things in life we're just going to have to make decisions on, okay? Real, potent, hardcore decisions. It is. It's hard. It is hard. Making a decision is hard. Like, I'm thinking about moving soon. And all I'm doing is thinking about it. I'm not making no decision on it because I'm just thinking about it. But if five years pass, ten years pass, am I really making a decision on it? Or I'm just sitting where I'm sitting at? You know what I'm saying? So when you do... um have to make a decision about something very important in your life you have to rest four swords you have to leave the past in the past you have to use this open door to personal healing and happiness because if you want that happiness then you're going to have to prioritize. You're going to have to go within. You're going to have to deal with your issues to, in order to make a sound decision. Okay? Now, do you have to do all of that to, to know what color socks you want to wear? No, you don't. You know what I'm saying? But we know that on this channel, I get deep. So we talking about we talking about making decisions about how far we want to go. How, we we making decisions about our future and about our spiritual path. Okay? So this broken heart, if you made a decision and you got this broken heart, put it at God's doorstep. Put it at God's feet. He will, he definitely will bring you personal healing. He will bring you this healing, but you have to take, you have to make the decision to do that. I hope all of this is making sense. I'm just, sometimes when I channel words, everybody, like when I, when spirit, this trigger thing has been talking to me. Spirit has been talking to me all day today about doing something on this channel about triggers. And I even said that I was going to go and look some studies up so that I can give you some real hardcore evidence. But once again, the day runs by me. I'm at work all day. Then I'm with my kid. You know, it's always something, y'all. But there'll, there'll be a part two to this. So this is just some um, friendly advice to don't let things trigger you. Um, that's going to make you act out. Deal with whatever your triggers are. Notice them. Start noticing what your triggers are. You know, and you know what? Triggers don't only have to be words, y'all. Triggers could be, trigger could be food. You know, some people, they get upset and they get upset and they um, eat. Um... I just eat to eat. That is not one of my triggers. <laughs> but some people eat when they get upset. That is a trigger. You know what I'm saying? Um, some people don't sleep. 
you know, some pe there's all types of triggers. You only know yours. And I always tell you, y'all, I'm not here to put together your story. Just take whatever I'm giving you and apply it to your life the best way that you know how, okay? The next card we got, and I, I really, d we got the world, y'all, but we got it in reverse, okay? That means we are not done with a cycle, when it's upright, that means we're done with a cycle. We're moving on to the next cycle. But right now, we're kind of stuck in whatever cycle that we're in. Because. Of these indec in, um, indecisions. Because we're indecisive, we're, kind, we're, we're delaying our own process. That's what I was trying to get out, y'all. Let's get that card upright. When I come back, because I will be coming back. The next time I'm going to do a video will probably be Sunday. Probably. Who knows? But it'll probably be Sunday. Um, but when we come back, I want to get the world upright. Um... You know, I only be having 33 minutes on my phone, y'all. So that's basic. I think I touched all the topics. Um, I guess the last thing I wanted to talk about is life is short, y'all. And if you are too many spirit, too many. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm sure that y'all heard, heard all of this before, but life is short. So... Don't take anything for granted. Don't take people for granted. Don't take your family for granted. Don't take the people that love you for granted. Um, sometimes we get into this 3D life and we're working like me so much that we let the people that we love just pass us by. You know, just hug your, hug your neighbor, hug your mother, hug your person you love and just spend a minute with them spend a minute ask them talk to them like hear them don't only talk to them but hear them hear them out see what their side is see what their side of life is like where they're at in life where they're going what they want to do like um you know Catch them off guard. Because I know that when my sister called me, that caught me off guard. You know what I'm saying? But it ended up being like one of the best conversations that we ever had. You know, I thank God. I give gratitude to God in the universe, the energy of the moon, everything just for that conversation. You know, I love my sister. So if you have a sister or a brother or a family member or a best friend or a spouse, Take a minute to not only talk to them, but to listen to them, okay? Ask them what their triggers are. See how you can help them with their triggers. See what they're indecisive about in their life. Um, see how you can help them. You know, tell them to look at this, um, to look at me, this channel. <laughs> tell them to subscribe to Danny Moon. Do you know I never tell y'all that? I look at my other the other tarot's like my cards and stuff and everybody comes on and say, "Please share and subscribe and blah blah." So I'm asking you, please tell a friend, tell a family member. I need my subs my subscriptions to go up. I have been at 2. Today I made 203. Yay. Um but I'm trying to get them to go up, so please subscribe. Um, and leave a comment. Tell me what your trigger is. Tell me what you're, if you're, tell me what you're indecisive about. And if you don't want to tell me that, tell me whether you're indecisive or not about something. Um, and if you need a piece of advice for that, y'all, I don't know how much I can tell you to go to God with it. You know, turn the spirit, turn the spirit, light a candle. When these full moons, ha you should be lighting a candle and going to spirit and to the Lord and the, to, to the universe and to, to, to spirit every day. But if you don't do that every day, you should be definitely be doing that on full moons. Okay. Um, 
the energy that the full moon gives off can change your whole thought pattern. It could change everything in your chemistry in, in in your being you know maybe for that one night maybe forever maybe for three days who knows but the energy that the moon gives off is so strong that it can impact your life meaning on how you take action what you take action on how strong you take action on whatever you're going to take action on how strong or how weak you will be if you just sit in sit in your somber, sit in your broken heart, the energy can go either way. With Mercury and all, you got to go to Bihati Life and listen to that astrology. She's so good with it. She will break it down for you. She's cool too. She's not boring to listen to. She talks like me and pulls cards like me, just like on random. Like just go check her out and subscribe to her. Um, because she's awesome. And she can, she'll break it down to you with this whole thing. Bihadi life. Bihadi life. And it's not separate. It's one word. Bihadi life. Um, and Danny Moon. Make sure. Tell a friend. Um, so all of these cards fell, y'all. And I don't think Spirit took them. I think I just dropped them. But because they're in my hand, let's go with it, okay? Um, the Hangman. Um, this is... A card of enlightenment so right now I feel like especially with the subscribers I feel like y'all got a lot going on in your minds especially with this sword card you got a lot going with this indecision card you got a lot going on um, I think if you just be quiet be still for a minute you'll be able to hear you see that sun shining behind him you'll be able to hear what the Lord is trying to tell you Okay, or what spirit's trying to tell you. Or say if you're not into none of that, if you stay still for a minute, you'll be able to hear what your intuition is telling you. Now, to me, it's all the same thing. It's all God. But to you, it might be something different. You know what I'm saying? You might be, you know, you might be crossing the street and your intuition say go left, but you know, you you trying to go right. Don't go right. Just listen to what your gut is telling you, okay? Because what that is, is your inner self. That's your inner you, okay? Um, we have... I'm in the dark, y'all. That's why I'm looking like this. We have the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles, he's super great. And remember, tarot is no gender, y'all. So this is all energy. King of P Pentacles means you working your ass off. This is stability, okay? This don't mean you got to be rich. But you see that pentacle he got? Okay, that means your home life. You taking care of your home life. You stable. You 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 rich within your family, within your within yourself. Okay, you working. You working hard. Um, the energy of the King of Pentacles is super protective, very stable with this money. Clarity. The King definitely knows exactly what he wants. He goes out and he gets it. He's not indecisive at all. So I feel like spirit is saying we need to take on this energy right here. Um, don't get scared at this card. This is the death card. Okay, death. All this means is rebirth, y'all. Rebirth. Remember this card? Where's that card at? Nostalgia, looking back at the past. Spirit is trying to say go forward. Shed that skin. Leave that alone. Become a new person. If you have a trip coming up in, say, January, January 21st, start prepping yourself. When you come back from this trip, you are going to have goals that you are going to set. Start setting. When you come back from your trip, it could be any time, January, February. You set set a, a time. You have, you're going away. When you come back, you are going to be shedded from that old person you was and you're going to move on to a new. You're going to take action on something new, something adventurous, something that you love, something that is passion, passionate to you. Okay? It could be anything and it could be something small. It doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be huge. Okay? It could be anything. Um, We got the Empress. Oh my God, the Empress. The Empress. Ugh, I just now said... When you finish with that trip, have goals. I just now told you about death. This is the rebirth. The empress's birth. Birthing new things. Birthing new ideas. 
this energy is hitting me right now, y'all. All this energy. I, I was weary in the beginning because I just jumped on here. But spirit is talking to us, okay? Spirit is saying, birth something new. Get rid of the old. Okay, get rid of the old. You did the non, you did the regular nine to five. You do your regular routine and keep doing your routine. But it's time for you to bring new energy in. In it's time for you to bring new energy in because we are all starting to get real stale. You know, like a stale cracker. Um, I gotta rush y'all because I'm at thirty. Um, Six of Pentacles, give and receive, baby. That's what I just now said. Hug a family member, hug a friend, ask them, talk to them, give and receive information. Um, Try to help someone and they will help you. Six of Pentacles, this is a really good card. This is a, a, a this is a sharing card. This is a, um, this also could be an imbalance card. So if you're not balanced, get it together. Balance yourself out because you can't move forward forward if you're not balanced. So, But overall, Six of Pentacles is a give, receive, give, receive. And that could be any kind of way, y'all. That could be through talking with a friend. That could be actually giving money, receiving money, giving information, receiving information. It could be anything. Um, eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, y'all. Eight of Wands. This is a good this is a good card. This means communication is coming in about anything, about a job, about this thing that I'm telling you about taking action. Um or your goals or looking forward to the future, leaving the past. You have some type of communication coming in quickly about something that you desire, something that you want. Communication is coming in. Oh my god, I didn't know I picked this many cards. Um, we have the high priestess. This is all I just told you about your intu intuition, right? The high priestess is all about the abilities. You see how I talk to spirit. Um, some people are clairvoyant. Some people are, can feel presence. Um, spirit is, is telling the community, whoever listens to me, that we are all gifted. We are all gifted, so use your ability. Use them, but in order to use them, you have to start what? The first thing you should do is meditate. I always tell you to meditate, and I did not mention that once tonight, but everybody should meditate. And But I did tell you to rest. That's the same thing. Meditation, rest, going within, talking to yourself, in your mind, prioritizing, listening to your intuition. It's all under the same realm. Um, we got the lover's card. Now, the lover's card also could be, also could have something to do with this broken heart. All of the cards, all of the cards correspond with each other, okay? So, the lovers could be with something with a person that you're a spouse, someone you're dating, or it could be a choice. Because remember, we're all indecisive. We got the indecision card. So, it could be a choice that we need to make. The last card is three of cups. This means a celebration with friends and family. Um, so whatever it's going to be, take it, run with it, and be happy. I got to go before.